新歴3564年第107代アーケディア法王ナダリアは軍事大国シアへと遠征軍を派兵一夜にしてその首都ホメロパは陥落しアルス諸とも雲海の底深くへと沈んでいったその影にはたった一人のプレイト天の聖杯滅の存在があった次のターゲットはイーラに決めたなぜ世界を破壊する気づいてるんじゃないか破壊したがってるのは人間だと僕が本国から受けた使命は天の聖杯滅の討伐だどうだろう僕らにその力貸してもらえないだろうかひょっとして怒ってる滅の討伐のこと国民を守るための戦いに身を置けるなら本望だ君に頼みたいことはただ一つあの滅を葬り去ってもらうことなのだから一体何の目的で別に退屈しのぎなよただのふざけてるのの
聖杯同士の激突お前いい目をしてるな俺の行く道はこの道だ交わることはないウィーラーチニンテンドスウィッチアウィジョンウィザーホームシステムユクプレイトゲダーエニタイムエニウェアトゥデタチブルジョイコンコントローラーズカウトレスプレイポシビリティスフォンデイワンオーラブユーハーションドウォールドウォッダーメンズウォッダープレイングアトホームオーアンドゴーフォンロートゥアンハイウェアウィニンテンドスウィッチテキユネクストゥアスマッシングインビテーショナルチェアドバイファンズンチャレンジャーズ or on a journey through verdant fields and viridian cities in a timeless quest to catch them all. A few weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, a grand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. This is a Pokeball Plus. You can use it like a Joy Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Or play the entire game with it alone. Microphone, you can put a Pokemon into the Pokemon okay, Plus there we go. and bring it with you. It sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey. Okay, can you hear me now? Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and the Pokeball Plus. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. November 16th. Discover Sorry about that, guys. And challenges as you explore this mysterious and enchanting world. Wherever you go, with whoever you like, only on Nintendo Switch. Now, let's check out something else. I may get that. I may get the Pikachu game. I'm not sure. I mean, I know it's. Okay. I think it's based on Kanto, but yeah. All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. Temptation, temptation. Uh, I knew it. Another Mario Party game. Super Mario Party. Please have online. For fuck's sake. Online, please. We need to have like some angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Do it. Oh, game on. Oh. I don't think anybody could stress this enough. Are you guys ready to do this? All right, I'm heading on this one here. Fast inside. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. One more. <laughs> one more. We should do one more. Rematch. There's a lack of online, yeah. I get the feeling it's only Joy-Con compatible. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation. Oh, let me guess. This is Fire Emblem. A gift to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother of all life. The arbiter of every soul. Yep, Fire Emblem. Go 
ahead. I wasn't Give really too keen on the series. To measure your worth as an instructor. Yeah, Mally, I'm not really surprised. Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of a goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Run, 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 run! Let's keep running! Palantana. Maybe it's a crossover with Kid Icarus. I only played the game. I only played the first uh, Game Boy Advance game. And we fall to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never. I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. Spring 2019. What the hell is this? Is this Jet Free Fall Radio? Oh, Fortnite. Oh. Uh, that game is so under overrated. I don't know, I'm not really into this game. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the oh, you won't be seeing me, Reggie. <laughs> whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, a home console where you can access a full range of games content, including a wealth of groundbreaking <laughs> games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. <laughs> He certainly and is. To all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cutting boards. Oh, uh, must be indie Overcooked games food. now. A sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, and white knuckle mayhem. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients. Reminds me of that, that, that can change on the Japanese floor. game that and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, I think, barbecue, I think or broil got released 14 years ago. I think it was a beef bowl or whatever it's called. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's Frank. I think it's Uber that meets Mario Party on August 7th. Hop on a snail. A cooking mama rip off, yeah. Or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesign Wait, this looks like Joust. Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became the a Joust meets Maya the Bee. Is coming to Nintendo <laughs> Apparently. Switch. And for the first time, or Hutch Zonny Bee. Two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. And finally, venture through the mysterious subterranean landscapes of a vast, forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight. An action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers mm. endless hours. The animation looks cool on this. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch. And I'm pleased to announce that the game packed with all the previous downloadable content is available on the Nintendo eShop 
starting today. These are just a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live, streaming right from the E3 show floor, where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018, the action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler from Square Enix is coming exclusively for eh. Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Now, How about bring back the demo from Mario Tennis Aces so I can cast some that some sometime? Coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's that Star Link game. Yeah. I don't think I'll be getting that. Even though it has Fox in it, it's it's still not a Star Fox game. Oh god, Minecraft. Sushi Striker. Ah, bade kaita in sushi. Pixark. And I don't give a shit. I don't really care about uh, Just Dance too much. Dragon Ball Fighters. This Platoon 2, I don't care for. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, it's okay. I have that. I have that for PS4. Um, Ninjala. Car Castle. FIFA 18. Come on! I want to see a Hello Project game. Come on! There hasn't been one since Space Venus. Wild Shelter, Dark Souls Remastered. SK Heroines, um, I may get that. Uh, Monster Hunter, Wolfenstein. Whatever that is, I didn't see that. Mega Man 11, I'm definitely getting that. I am definitely getting that. I'm hoping I can get the Amiibo edition. I may have to pre-order that soon. Hi everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, well, I haven't brought my Switch on the go yet. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to. ...to surprise people all over the world. And we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making <laughs> games for Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Oh, I bet it's Smash. Yep, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. <laughs> the end? Many Just kidding. Have in this <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sure you're teasing us, huh? Find out who will be joining the roster this time. Oh, so it's gonna be a new game, so not a, a video port? to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Brothers series. Of course, Please, Mario's gonna be look. one. <laughs> It's 
on this, definitely. Kirby. Bowser. Link. Oh yeah, it is Breath of My Ass Link. So they are, so this is a brand new game, not a port. Okay, I guess that's practically the reason why I should keep Smash 4 on Wii U then. And we're gonna do this. <laughs> Sheik and Zelda. Villager. Meta Knight and Mewtwo. Sonic. Peach. <laughs> Pikachu. Ice Climbers are back. And the Inkling. Uh, Splatoon guys. Captain Falcon. Zero Suit Samus. Ivy Sword and Squirtle. Pokemon Trainer. Oh, Pokemon Trainer's back. Ness. Lucas. Use back too, nice. Ganondorf. Ike. Cloud. Okay, so it's not. Okay, so it is a port, but then it's not. And Snake! Snake's back! Everyone is here. Oh, seriously? Jigglypuff, Pichu! Come on! Jigglypuff's like the weakest character! Olimar, Diddy Kong... Bayonetta... Mr. Game & Watch, Greninja... Dr. Mario... Rob, Duck Hunt... Pid & Dark Pit... Palantana... Corrin... Bowser Jr. Toon Link. Young Link. Wow, they're not they're not fooling around. They're They're adding yeah, they are adding everyone. Shulk. Wolf's here too. Mega Man. Oh, it's ultimate. Luigi, Yoshi. Dirty Smash Brothers artwork. <laughs> hey, yeah, you just said that already. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game. Now, as far Whether as new characters are concerned, I'm hoping for Max Caulfield. In the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply Max put, Caulfield, this is the uh... biggest crossover in gaming history. Once Crash again, Bandicoot. Worlds will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure. Oh, Cappy! I should have known. I should have known he would be here. Link dons his champion's tunic from the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. 
Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. Nice. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Female Pikachu? Really? Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his final smash has received an overhaul. This time, nice. No Landmaster this point, time. So you can get right back to fighting. Falco's final smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. Yeah, I never liked that final smash. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves, like Samus's charge shot, can now power up in mid-air. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Mart's dancing blade is faster and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina nice. too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open. Well, how did Marth get back an English voice? Demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. Wait, was there a game I forgot? It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow Moses Island is back too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. What did he have that in the games? Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damages itself too, so be careful. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Oh, nice. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either Jesus! Or he's lightning fast. Well, that practically makes him hard to control, yeah, apparently. Also got a speed boost this I'm sure. Time. Looping around the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Oh, nice. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. I figured. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. And of course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. Oh, nice. Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example... I think Cloud's confusing to control, in my opinion. You can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different Villagers. Bowser's I guess final cool, I guess. Giga Bowser is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Holy Island. shit! Holy fucking shit! All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young now that should have been a final battle in a... a that Giga Bowser should have been a final battle in Odyssey. 
Lon Lon milk anyone? Uh, I hate milk. After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Kirby is his usual puffy self, but we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes. Oh, no shit, fight. he's gonna have an ability for every fighter. Shulk Apparently, stay in the obvious. Button presses to toggle Monado art, but now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. I sure guess that's easy. I guess. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Ganon. Mi Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three I would have liked his attire from uh, Kanashimi Twilight Fighter Princess. And Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. Nice! 12 voice We're options! Get this fighter ready for online I'm hoping for a normal me voice, not like those those creepy Previously, those creepy ones from Mario Kart 8. Three sacred treasures. The ones that go, this time, be in style Ooh. Like Yeah, that, that, those. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus' final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. When Olimar gets damaged, you'll see a crack in his helmet. Ouch! But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. I guess that's good Bayonetta's news, I guess. costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely, and you'll hear differences in the sound of them. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Uh, that's that kind of lame. Expressive new facial animations. Little Max Final Smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all Final Smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new Final Smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. Oh, they both have the, uh, the exact the same plan, final Lisa smash, apparently, so... Same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the Wii Fit developers. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final oh, smash, cool, I guess. say hello to Proto Man and Bass. Proto Man and Bass? Nice! Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around. And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, though. Notice the epsilon you're symbols tagging from next afar. to Marcina and Dark Pit's numbers. Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce oh, almost a more than a half Echo of the fighter. fighters are Echo Fighters. So what's the point? Yeah! Daisy. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She oh Jesus! In a manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Well, she doesn't go, "Hi, I'm Daisy." Have fun playing. I'm okay with, with this. Pieces. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. 
And here's a new fighter. Okay, I th yeah, I know Inkling we know all about the Inklings. New addition I'm hoping for more. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. And each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. By the way... That's cool, I guess. We added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. Eh, uh, wink they're not. <laughs> While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. Oh, nice. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep. Photo it's bomb him. Oh Bomberman. There's a wide variety. More than fifty of them appear in the game. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. Oh goody. Black hole? Oh, Watchstar, nice! Fake Smash Ball? How can you tell the difference? There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. Speed's castle's back from melee. Spear train, was it? I think that's from the 3DS, isn't it? Bridge of whatever it's called. We got Green Hill Zones back. New Fork City's back. Tormer Island. Moray Tau. Oh, that's Splatoon. Gray Plateau Tower. I think that's Breath of My Ass, I'm not sure. All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Nice, I guess. New techniques. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. Yeah, so will I, Mally. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. 
Really? I never thought that. I didn't use that. Release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk. But going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This ah, nice! The action is well paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something, or no victory pose for you. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, I think I was aware of this. Nintendo GameCube controller. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this nice. time as well. In fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard I'm really excited. until the releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, when is it going to be released? We do have one more announcement. Please, take a look. Oh god, is it another character? Please tell me it's another character. Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know who this is. I think it I think it's Ridley. Well, I'm hoping for a story mode. Yep. I guess the I guess the rumors were true about Ridley. December 7th. Nice. So a few weeks before Christmas. Well, that's it already? Okay. Um... Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's... Uh, that's pretty much it. Um... Perfect Christmas gift to oneself. Yeah, definitely. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Um, I'm I'm really hyped for Smash. Um, it's it sucks not any other games, I guess, except for uh, Mega Man 11 and po the uh, Pokemon Let's Go thing. I'm really interested about. I'm so disappointed that there's no new Hello Project game, but I guess there's always next year. So um. I think that that about that pretty much does it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess uh, uh, 
think I'm gonna take another break. I'm probably gonna um go back to my normal casting schedule um next starting on Monday. Oh no problem, Allie. So uh I guess that about does it. Um this is Neo Zeos and I guess I'll see you guys later.